Thomas, do you think the royal uh, women in the Travancore household, the senior Maharani Setu Lakshmi Bai and the junior Maharani, um, the, the Setu Parvati Bai, who is actually, uh, in your book, you say she controlled the king, King uh, Chitra Thirunath. How much do you think these women have bequeathed to Kerala their legacy of uh, women empowerment? One of them, Setu Lakshmi Bai, the senior Maharani, personally ruled in the 1920s. It was in her time that a, a, a Syrian Christian woman, uh, for the first time, was made you know, the head of the health department, which is essentially, you can call it the de facto health minister at the time. It was at her time that legal education was thrown open to women, which led to Anna Chandy becoming one of the first judges in the, in the Indian uh, legal universe. Uh, it was in her time that women were allowed entry into the legislature and into this popular you know, consultative assembly called the Sri Mulam Popular Assembly. Uh, it was in her time that uh, the first feature film was made. And when the, the, the female lead was attacked because she was a Dalit woman who played an upper caste Naya character, it was the Maharani who gave protection to that particular actress. And what you find is that you know, she did not promote individual women. She created spaces for women to sort of thrive in future as well. So other than her health minister and one or two other cases, you can't really point out saying she helped this woman or that woman. She actually created the idea that women needed to uh, step forward and claim their own space. So one of the innovative things that she set up was that you know every girl who went to college in Travancore would automatically receive an invitation to tea in the palace with the Maharani. Now, this is a time when the royals are almost treated like semi-divine figures. So to uh, get an occasion to come and sit down with them and have tea is a very rare sort of honor. She's trying to sort of promote the idea that, you know, she's showing support for the idea of women going to college. That's a minor thing. But, you know, putting them in the legislature, hoping that they would hereafter not be nominated, but actually stand election, uh, protecting an actress who was, who was you know, uh, being harassed by upper caste goons, uh, appointing a woman as her, her health minister. You know, these were very serious uh, changes that were made then.